A well-known Lexington restaurant continues to rise in the national spotlight, not only because of its food, but its inspirational mission. DV8 Kitchen was featured in the New York Times back in July, and tonight, a new recognition. LEX 18's Mike Valente has more for us. 71. On a late Sunday morning, DV8 Kitchen is at its busiest. Do you need that time to go? Employees are moving fast juggling the demands of a lunch run. It's high stress, no doubt, especially in a restaurant where the owners expect a 20% better performance than their competitors. When our new staff first hears that, I think they're a little intimidated. But we believe that everybody in recovery has an amazing capacity for excellence. But even Rob Perez didn't expect the restaurant to flourish like it has. Last September, Rob and his wife Diane opened DV8 with the goal of serving up life-changing food. Today, 23 of 26 employees are in active recovery. When they perform, you can just see it in their posture, in their eye contact, in their voice inflection. I mean, they are going out and giving service as opposed to being kind of passive and in the back. We're greeting the guests, we're, we're directly engaging with people, even strangers, right? is a way for us to build confidence. It's a way for us to, to learn to build bonds of trust. 29-year-old Dan Risen once struggled with opioid abuse. Today he's clean and hopes the national spotlight on the kitchen can inspire others to seek recovery and deviate from their past lifestyle. And we constantly hear about the problem. What we don't hear a lot about in this crisis is the solution. Covering the news in Lexington, Mike Blank, LAX 18 News. You can watch their story on nightly news coming up right after we wrap up the LEX 18 news at 6.